going to switch to the number three rigger net, the three quarter inch flat. And this this sort of random mash, I'll try and make this more sort of building like. So I'm just going to go raw sand, just a touch a light red. Put more more raw sienna. And then just suggest a few little few little roofs. A few more down there, just just scatter them around. Just here and there and the front so I'm going to go same mix but add a bit of burnt umber to it maybe even a touch of ultramarine and then just pull down the front of these places okay it's, it's all it's all very very loose and maybe just switch it the other way and just suggest a few And then switch to the number three rigger. Let's do that dry. Switching to the number three rigger, dark mix, burnt umber, ultramarine. And if you start adding, it's when you add the windows that it does start to look. They start to look like little buildings. Random details in there. Not quite sure what this is, but it, you just let the eye do a lot of the work, to be honest. Maybe even a few little chimney pots. else we got over here. Sticking with the rigger, just maybe there's even lemon yellow, pine's grey, even little bits of bits of green here and there. trees and bushes and what have you. Get your fingers in, scuff it up a bit. I mean you can even put a dollop there, get it on your finger and then just, just a few trees in the distance. I mean there's a million and one ways of doing it. It's just, got to get stuck in basically. Just get stuck in and experiment. I mean to be honest I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. I'm just going from one bit to another. Maybe there's even a few things on the beach. Red's always a good colour to stand out. Uh, if there could be people messing about or going to blue. Just things on the beach. 
and back to the rigger. And then in the right, I mean that's the distant there, and then right in the foreground I'm doing not too much um, water. I'm doing a lizarin, a lizarin crimson, and then just a little bit of little bit of ultramarine. And I'm just going to sort of just flick up, and these are maybe a touch more water. As you come right into the foreground. We have got these. Got some flowers. And then in front of those, we've got more sort of more green. I'm just giving lemon yellow, ultramarine, pine grey, more grey, darkening it up a bit, get the nails in a few. The light red is always a good colour to really stand out. I'm just giving through pretty much all the colours there. Pine's grey, get some real dark in there. And it's generally, as you, as you get, you, as, you, as you come closer and closer to the foreground, I tend to use less and less water and more and more thick pines. And that's just a sort of a very loose sort of little fishing pause. I might even scratch my name out of this one. I'm just going to use just a little Little, uh, I forgot what you call them now. What's it things? Then just go into a dark area and just scratch your name out. Pump the air down there as well. And that's another painting done. Hope you like that. Keep practicing, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.